everybody's making an argument for it's more convenient to have your music on streaming, Curtis. Then I got to thinking, what is the most convenient items in the world and why are they always the cheapest? Mm. In four days, this project did DIYers. It has been a very interesting week that's not even over yet. This week was my first time releasing an album without the assistance of the DSPs, without streaming. And I know this is a very loaded question. How do you kind of view streaming in general from the perspective of someone who has a podcast that does radio? Like, how do you view the streaming business as it is for a creator? I love the convenience of it being that, you know, if anybody at any point in time, anywhere wants to, to hear your content, and this is coming from, again, from a podcast standpoint, or even somebody that wants to listen to radio right now you don't have to get in your car and listen to it you can and i've always said this from jump even when we were doing our show back at the apartment doing mm -hmm. homegrown radio at my apartment i said the moment they get this whatever this is mm -hmm. inside cars and accessible to uh, mobile yeah this is before apps right before streaming was really a thing like that so once they do that the, the game has changed it's right be something more accessible so from the yeah. convenience standpoint i love it i right? do too by the way Amazing. which i don't want everybody because people when i when i put up screenshots of songs i'm listening to like i was listening to what's going on with marvin gay yeah i was waiting for somebody to be like <laughs> oh you stream oh but but you're gonna listen to marvin gay <laughs> on mean? apple right, music right what that ain't high or <laughs> i never had any issues with the consumption of it because i'm like yeah this is so cool that i have access to all the music mm -hmm. i just so happen to pick a profession in which which financially I'm affected by my decision to put it on, on this platform. Having my art at this stage be in so many different places and not just the amount of places because everybody's talking about, oh my God, the, the visibility, the visibility. You can reach so many people by being on streaming. My thing is this, everybody's making an argument for it's more convenient to have your music on streaming, Curtis. You should worry about the convenience of your fans. Then I got to thinking, what is the most convenient items in the world and why are they always the cheapest? Mm. Isn't it crazy how everybody's preaching this to artists about you need to be accessible. You need to make sure you're omnipresent. You need to make sure that your stuff is everywhere. They talk about music like that because they have so little belief in its value, but Gucci is not in a thrift store. You don't think Gucci would make more money being in, being Gucci, but also being in a thrift store? No, because it's about the optics on it. If anybody can get it, anybody can have an opinion about it. I believe my art is worth more and being here, in my opinion, for my art, I feel like it devalues it. Mm. I feel like I couldn't be in the Dollar General and then come over here and be charging you like, yeah, go ahead and pay what you want, $100. Right, right. Even though it's been done successfully, yeah. I just felt like for that you. didn't yeah, it just didn't work. But then I thought about it, Chuck. I said on a personal, artistic level, I needed to opportunity to say clean the slate get back to making music for music that's what i needed though yeah. but in the midst of that in four days this project did two thousand five hundred dollars in sales rounded up 90 people accounted for that and it's seven hundred and thirteen thousand six hundred and seventeen equivalent streams wow. now here's where it gets really interesting if you compare that to what i actually did spotify wise this year i had seventy six thousand streams total after 365 days the added caveat is that i get this payment this week and not after three months or a year so lunch on you is what you're saying all right Tyson, lunch Tyson, on you i got, I got, I got some over here you feel me like that's why you brought some extra water up in here i see what you're doing <laughs> In the midst of that, I thought it was funny that a lot of people started popping up on my timeline. This guy. <laughs> started popping up on my timeline. Weird Al Yankovic. I was saying the CH at the end. Yitch. Yankovic. Yitch. Weird Al. Weird Al. There we go. <laughs> he had this video where he basically, this week also, Spotify released their Spotify rap. Hey, how you doing? What's up? Al here. Look, I'll make this really quick. I, I just want to thank you all for your amazing support. Okay. It's my understanding that I had over 80 million streams. On Spotify. Oh, so, man, go uh, ahead. 80 million. If I'm doing the math right, that means I earned $12. So, uh, you know, enough to get myself a nice sandwich at a restaurant. So, from the bottom of my heart, thanks for your support. <laughs> Ain't no way. Um, thanks for the sandwich. Wait, 80 million is $12? Eight, no, 80 million can't be $12. It can't be, because I think 1 million is like, like I think that's on all streaming. I think it's four racks, but... You know what's crazy? Come on, Al. What we doing? He is a comedian, by the way. You know, let's, let's say that. I get it. You guys know I don't like this new threshold thing. Not because it affects me, but because it affects so many of you that have tuned into my content. And I care about you having the ability to combine all of your money and make some kind of scratch. Check this video out here by Andrew Southworth, who said Spotify's royalty change is even more brutal than we thought. Recently, I made a video on my channel going over the massive changes to Spotify's royalty system that are happening in 2024. But since then, Spotify has released more information information straight from the horse's mouth, so to speak, on their actual website, which we're going to go through here. But the changes that they announced are actually even more brutal than we 
initially thought. And so if you don't know what the initial changes are uh, that they're going to be doing in 2024, one, if a song is streamed less than a thousand times in a year, it's not going to get paid. Two, they're Damn. going to be fighting against bots by imposing a fine if more than 90% of the streams are found to be fraudulent. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He, he coming out the gate swinging, hold on. So wait a minute, imagine going to work. And they say, all right, we not, we not finna hit you with a paycheck no more. And if we figure out that you out here being fraudulent, we got a fine for that ass. Crazy. <laughs> Imagine getting fined from your job. Like, what? Wait, imagine you not getting paid. And getting fined. And you getting fined. I'm in the ho- What? Huh? I'm in the red? What's going on with you, DIYers? Thank you so much for choosing to watch this video. One thing I want to give you a heads up of is that I just released my project called Storm Symphony with my good friend Aaron Barber. <laughs> Why should you care? Because I know you didn't come here for my music. You probably came for the content. If you're a rapper or a music producer, there are added bonuses for you actually purchasing the album. If you're a producer, every sample that you hear that was composed originally by Aaron Barber, you will get a royalty-free pack of 10 melodic loops that you can use royalty-free for your beats to sell, your own music, and all that good stuff. Also, FL Studio has partnered with me to give out five copies of FL Studio for those of you that want to start off your production career. But Curtis, I don't know how to use FL Studio. How the hell would that benefit from that? Well, along with one of the other tiers, you're also going to get my FL Studio Beginners course. So this is the way that I am incentivizing those of you that actually still buy music. Because you know what? Fine art still sells. And I made some fine ass art on this project that I think you're going to really, really enjoy. Make sure that you go to CurtisKing.com for more information. Now back to the video. Personally, my opinion, I wish they would just go to a user-centric payment model because it's more fair and I think the artists who do the best job of holding people's attention will win. And to me, that's that's an important metric. But this is the thing we're stuck with. And so let's go through the changes. All right. So this is the first article I'm going to be going through. This is straight from Spotify's website. The way that they talk about it, Spotify has 100 million tracks. Tens of millions of them are streamed only between one and 1,000 times over the past year. And they generate on average three cents per month, which is, again, practically nothing. Give me my three cents. You know what's crazy? How you make the price and then tell people what's not enough money. I remember I worked at Quiznos and Carson one time, <laughs> and this dude walked up to the cash register because he knew I was my brain was like getting a sandwich and trying to get everything. He was like, can I get change for a hundred? And as I was counting the money, he put 20s down and some of them were counterfeit. <laughs> and I was like, bro, don't, what are you doing? Like, I don't know where the money's at. He's like, hey, just give me 60 then. I'll take whatever. What? I didn't, at that point, I was like, I hope his math is right. We were short. Oh, How you gonna tell somebody that they ain't making enough money when you, you set, the, set price? the price, bro? This is where things get a little more brutal. Here it so goes. Some people said that it wasn't very clear in the news articles out if you don't start making money until after a thousand streams or once you hit a thousand, you get paid for the entire thousand. I thought it was that latter. Once you hit a thousand, you get paid for the whole thousand. The answer is somewhere in the middle, <laughs> confusingly. Wait, 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 wait. So if I, if I get to that thousand, I don't get the thousand? Is that what nah, they're saying? you start. You're in the game now, buddy. Congratulations. You hit a checkpoint. This is the entry fee. This is my thoughts, my thoughts only. I don't think a company has respect for their client's business if they don't give them one of the most important data points, which is an email or a contact. How could you look at me as a business and you don't give me the opportunity to conduct all of my business if they've already elected? And I'm not just saying it's a Spotify, I'm saying for any social media. Mm -hmm. Like at least with social media, I can reach out to somebody that's like, yo, this is fire. Thank you, now I'm gonna reach, hey, you mind if I get your email? With this, I have no contact with these people and I don't know how much of these are actually real. How do right. I verify? Right, right. I can't even even see like a name attached to this listener so when i see that i'm looking at that and i'm like how do you get to determine well this is your playground you get to do what you want to do and i don't like this i wish it was just you hit it you get paid as long as it happens within a year you get paid for every single stream but it's actually a little more complicated than that because of course it is so under this new policy you have to hit a thousand streams if a track is streamed over 1,000 times in its first calendar month on the platform, all streams will be included. So meaning if you hit 1,000 in your first month, you're going to get paid for the whole 1,000. Now, you know what's scary about that? These are numbers made by people who have all the metrics of what tracks do. Bruh, this, Think about this, that. Yeah. How common is that? For the people who are not able to get it in the annual, they probably they have the stats of how often this happens. That is wild, bro. Look, it's inflation. Everybody got to get. Everybody got to pay their bills. I just don't understand why somebody from the platform doesn't speak out. I feel like there needs to be transparency, man. At least come out and be like, "We broke." Shit, that's the reason why. Look, that's what I was. We my broke. Theory. That was my theory. We don't have money. We don't know how we are gonna do this. We trying to figure out. We trying to feed this shit. Like everybody else. I'm stressed. Spotify, if you're listening, please 
if there's a way you can make this less ridiculous, <laughs> consider it. If you have any power in your company to do anything, I think this part is just annoying. If, for example, a track is streamed 750 times in its first calendar month and 500 times in its second month, that track would only generate royalties for all 500 streams in that second month. That sounds like somebody talking to you about a deal. It ain't got no money. That's I'm, that right there. Sound like some bro. That's like that's like. All right. So what I'm thinking is this. That's what like, we gonna do. That's what we gonna do. Right. All right you give me five dollars, and then you over there. You give like you give him two dollars, right? And you gonna hold that for me. What's gonna happen is I'm 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 gonna, I'm gonna go look under the couch and see if I got some extra change. What is this? Make it makes sense, man. This shit makes my head hurt. And I think that huh? what people need to stop doing, and and this is just my personal sure. opinion. Whenever whenever I'm conflicted on certain shit, stop giving it attention. Yeah. So yeah. I, and, yeah. and I. And I yeah. But that's just that's yeah. my way of looking at it. It may not be right. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. it's like the more we 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 talk about Spotify, the more we complain about it. And I'm using the, the word complain in the sense of like you're only amplifying what they're doing. What is going on? Yeah. And if you want to take your shit off, take your shit off. If you don't want to amplify it, don't amplify it. If, mm -hmm. if, if there's another way, like if I if I'm making money a different way, yeah, and decide to keep it up, cool. I, I may or may not get the chump change that they have on there. I'm not worried about it but yeah. the more i'm talking about what i don't like about spotify only the amplifies amplifying that spotify and, and, and what they're doing this is kind of like uh, in my end when i hear people complain about radio right mm -hmm. i understand the things that people have concerns about with radio right i personally can't do it. as some as somebody who works for the radio i can't do anything about it mm. as somebody as a radio personality there's certain things i can't play that i would love to play yeah right but i know there's a business in that, that's set with radio sure the way I do it, I figure out the ways I do love to support artists mm -hmm. by hopping on my IG live, by 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 doing interviews like this, by making right. sure like having Stevie Crooks at the station was a, a perfect example of me saying, "Look, I want to shed light on my platform to mm -hmm. a dope ass artist who doesn't necessarily get that look." Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna complain. Oh man, I wish well, I wish we can. And on the back end, people don't know that I do try to get some of these artists airplay. I've seen it. I've seen it. Right? Yeah. I'm not gonna continue to 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 go up that hill. And of course, I fight in my own way. Right. But I, I notice the more energy that I put in there, the more frustrated I get. Mm. So I, that's why I understand it resonates when you said, "Look, this just doesn't serve me." So yeah. I have to I have to get away from that. Chuck, when I see this, I'm like. This is me releasing an instrumental tape that's seventy percent instrumental and three songs. Mm -hmm. Seeing that number makes me say that's ninety units after I detoured for nine years. Mm -hmm. It's perspective. What would happen if I gave this a year of my center focus? I'm building a stage downstairs, my DIY stage. It's just fire. It's not even about the amount being something I've never. I've seen this number many a times, right? But it's about the potential and the opportunity. If 90 people can account for that and we barely started running ads. Right. This is just also the strength of really organic marketing, the music being what it is. I really have questions about if I made this my center focus, could I have the capital that makes streaming make so much more sense in 2025? DIY. DIYers, if you enjoyed this content, make sure that you hit the like button and maybe even consider subscribing. Come on, man. Stop, stop being greedy. Peace. Peace.